Welcome to another in a nutshell edition Sittles Brettspiele. My name is Niels and today Saboteur the Duel from Mayfair Games. Yeah, what is inside the box and what is the game about? We will take a look at this. So you have this cards here, this with a grey background and these could either passes like this here and this and this. There's some gold on it or it could be action cards like this. Here it is a key. This one, for an example, is a green one that's really important to unlock some sabotage actions against you. This destroys a tunnel and so on. This is the red one, it's a sabotage act and so on. This is a map tile that allows you to peek at the so-called gold card. The gold card has brown backgrounds or golden background backgrounds and they usually have one or more gold on it. Also we have two colors blue and green. Each has a little standy but also a dwarf card so you don't need the standy and a start card. Then you have this token. These tokens are double-sided green and blue and they are uh, they are for claiming this gold. Whenever on a normal pass tile here you have this gold like here Sim and you reach that, simply claim it with your color blue or green and make it to your gold. And finally, last but not least, we have this key tokens here to unlock doors. I think there was somewhere a door here. So this door is always open for green, but blue needs a key. If blue is putting a key on it with one of these action cards here, you remember this action card with the key on it, this door is uh, unlocked for blue and green. That is the, what is inside the box of Saboteur the Duel. And if you're familiar with the base game here, then probably you're interested in the two player or one or two player version as well. And now let me show you the setup of the game for a second and then talk about the game as always in a nutshell. This is roughly the setup of uh, Saboteur the Duel. You have one spot in here between blue and green. You can swap swap green and blue that does have no ch uh, change in the game at all and either blue can go here or here and they can also go here but it doesn't make any sense and green also can go here or here. So when they are going here in the middle they can sh uh, chair the pass and try to get here. So they need f five cards in here to reach the first gold card. They can also go to this or that gold card first or even to that one it's possible, but it's a little bit further away. So they can either share the pass to reach the gold cards and then flip that card over, except for you peeked at it with a map tile card. But let's take a look. This one means only green can go through. Okay, that's nice and that's interesting, but that's probably something green would like. So green is probably interested in building a route from here up to there and then saying, hey, hey, it's just my way. Okay, blue can still go up there, uh, but that's what you can do. You have a hand, uh, always you start with six cards and then you decide either to play one card down or to play... Um, an action down, a sabotage act, or destroy a sabotage act, or simply exchange hand cards. And whoever uh, gets these gold cards first, uh, not really first, when the draw pile runs out, then, uh, and you have no cards left on your hand, you count your uh, gold, and the player with the most goal is the uh, winner of that round. However, you play three rounds to determine who is the real winner of the game and you count all the gold up. That's basically how uh, Saboteur the Duel is played. Like always in a nutshell, let's talk about the mechanism of the game and the nature of the game and my personal experiences. 
So I know both uh, base games like Saboteur and Saboteur 2. I know both of them. I played them a lot. And I thought, well, oh wow, I a two-player two game. But how can they implement the trader mechanism? Because in Saboteur, in the original version, you may have some traders in it. And that is really the nature, the spice of the game. Why? I mean, you are trying to build this route, this network, and trying to get this gold and dig here into this uh, main of tunnels and then someone is trying to yeah betray you and not letting you in and that makes it really interesting and funny and in a two-player game there is no version of a, uh, a saboteur anymore so I don't know why it's called saboteur the duel it's simply a draw cards and play cards game and I have to admit I played it a couple of times and I think well okay you can play it, but uh, uh, to be fair and honest, I not really liked it at, at all. So I thought it's dry, it's uh, an old game, it's just simply rethemed to Saboteur Duel, but it's just drawing cards, hoping that you have luck with some good cards, and then go to the middle, and even if you try to... Um, block your opponent by playing some cards at some point I mean that doesn't really is planable there is no real thinking ahead in this game it's just what you have on your hand play it down you could also roll the die and say hey whoever w uh, rolls a six is winning the game I know now I get a lot of critics no it's not as simple as it looks like but I felt always oh the decisions you have to make in the game are not really meaningful um, you are not really in a good position normally you have a bunch of these cards on your hand six uh, up to six max so and then you think oh uh, this uh, uh, curve doesn't help me this curve doesn't help me so three out of six cards are uh, useless then you have this green cards to unlock your um, when you get some uh, sabotage act you wanted to so they are blocking and clocking down your hand because you have them maybe you got a third map tile and you thought well okay I peaked already at this and this uh, if you have or no, just if you have a second one you already peaked at this and you have this one why peak at that one as well I mean obviously yes you do it to get the card f down from your hand but it's not really helpful so bottom line for me, I played it a couple of times solitaire to think about, well, maybe it's better solitaire than with two players. And I can you assure, no, it's not. It's definitely not a solitaire game for me. Uh, definitely not. There are so many good solitaire games on the market right now. Oh, also card games, the solitaire games, don't take uh, Saboteur the Duel for it. This is definitely made for two persons, but for two persons... Uh, it's simply just a cool name because the big success of the old brother, but it doesn't have the feeling, the sense, the theme of the old game for me. Yeah, I know that was not really satisfying um, for me as well. So yeah, that was in a nutshell, Cyril's Brettspiele. My name is Niels and I will see you next time with another game and hopefully a better one. See you next time. Bye bye.